Hi guys, Dr. Davin Lim, Board Certified Dermatologist. Today, my colleague, Dr. Esh, and I will be talking about hair loss. We'll be discussing low level laser therapy for male and female pattern hair loss. In the past few years, and Esh has written papers on hair loss, uh, there's been a huge increase in papers showing the efficacy of these devices. In other words, they do work. Hence, I'm partnering up with iRestore, and we are both going to review the device. So Esh, can you tell us more about low level laser therapy? Okay, so it was actually accidentally found in the 1960s um, when they were looking at mice, mice and they yeah. um, actually irradiated them with low level uh, laser and they found that they actually grew hair. And so that's how the treatment began uh, or how the investigation into that began. Cool, cool. And since then, they've used it in many different uh, scenarios. Yeah, So everything from, I guess, skin rejuvenation nation but in the last probably decade or so hair so what kind of hair disorders usually respond best to this kind of low level laser so the biggest indication is androgenetic uh, hair loss which is uh, male pattern baldness or female pattern uh, there are other types of hair loss that do respond as well um, there's been perhaps more limited evidence including uh, in the way in inflammatory disorders that's yeah. right and yes alopecia areata, yes areata, that's areata, right areata, yeah. But I think the majority of patients or majority of people buying these devices basically buy it for the common cause and that's like it says male and female pattern hair loss right so how does it work how does how does the device or the light itself work in the context of the hair follicle okay so we know that the treatment actually works by promoting blood flow to the hair follicle and that actually encourages the hair to stay in a growing phase. So when we think about the hair follicle, we know that uh, hair is either resting or it's actively growing or it's in a bit of a transitional phase. And so it encourages hair to stay in that growing phase and prolongs that growing phase. In the context of, um, I guess, hair loss, does this need to be an ongoing treatment? Yeah, so it is an ongoing treatment. Hair loss is a chronic process and it is something that we need to carry on long term. And, and what do you think about combination therapy? So with your patients, right, the patients who I presume you start, for example, females, you might start them on spironolactone or sopratinacetate, and for males, possibly your finasteride, detesteride, um, that's in the US. And, and when do you start from, when do you, what do you tell your patients in regards to combining those medications with, uh, with low level laser therapy. Okay, so I do say that it actually makes it more efficacious. There has been a study done, which we can possibly link uh, yeah. if needed. Um, so, and it examined three groups. It examined a group uh, with topical minoxidil alone, the low level light treatment uh, or laser alone, and a group with the combination of both. And it actually found that the group with the low level uh, laser actually had, was slightly better than the topical minoxidil, but the group with the combination was actually significantly better than both of those groups. Oh, cool. So basically for patients out there, it's evident that we should start combining these treatments early? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. And then what kind of hair, so we talked about this, that the hair loss, male and, pattern, uh, male and female pattern hair loss, but at what stage should they, you know, is there, is for someone who's bald, will it grow hair back or when is it best instilled for males? So it's best to use it in the earlier phases of hair loss. We know that once you're reaching the advanced stages of hair loss, it becomes very difficult to uh, get the hair back. So guys, look, a little short little word from our sponsors. This is sponsored by iRestore. iRestore is an FDA cleared device. It's lasers and light emitting diodes. It contains 282 lasers and light emitting diodes um, for the pro device. Uh, and the application is basically three times a week and treatments are around, I think, 25 minutes. Yeah, yeah 25 minutes. So, so guys, this is the iRestore helmet. It's an innovative design. And like I said, it's a helmet, which means it improves compliance because essentially it's hands-free. So remember guys, this is FDA cleared. It consists of 282 lasers and light emitting diodes in a very innovative design. The great thing about this device is that when you're using it, it keeps your hands free. So I myself and Esh, you've got your hubby as well. Yeah. yeah? So we both use this uh, device. And the great thing about it, it's a fire and forget. So we put it on, we put the timers on, and um, I'm there with my laptop, 
prison for news or typing up some articles and that's it. So we can see that you know, it's been shown that the compliance rate just goes up astronomically once you have a device that's hands-free. Agree? Yeah, absolutely. The other thing is that there is quite wide coverage with this particular device as well. So it covers uh, quite a large area of the scalp as well. Cool. So guys, we'll share our experience. So I've used it for about six months. Esh, your husband's used it for about- Oh, about six months. About six months as well. Months as well. Yeah. So this is how we as dermatologists uh, view this helmet in the context of treating hair loss. So I do believe, so first of all, disclosure, I'm a little bit older than your hubby, yeah, so we are a little bit older compared to someone who has experienced early hair loss. So we believe that if you start early, especially if it's combined with medical treatment, you probably get regrowth. But in the context of what I experience, it's this. So for me, we have, I have basically hair fall. And as we know as dermatologists, once your hair falls, you can do a hair pull test. And I was freaking out <laughs> because mine's accelerating. So since using this, I haven't changed anything else. I just started using this. And with using this, my hair fall has reduced. Has that increased, visibly increased my hair growth? I think marginally so. But importantly, I think over long term, it will do that. But for the time being, at least for the last six months, I've noticed a significant decrease in hair shedding. What's Roger's experience? Yeah, so very similar experience. We've used a number of different treatments on his scalp. So we use oral minoxidil, uh, various topical applications as well, as well as um, other injectable treatments into the scalp. And I use the eye restore on him as something to augment those treatments. Similarly, I've had we've had the experience where he's experienced far less hair shedding as yeah. well. So eye restore offers a 12 month money back guarantee with this device. So guys, you can have a look below for the discount code. It's a limited time where you guys can save hundreds of um, this device. Uh, the code is really simple. It's Davenlim. So guys, um, low level laser therapy, the different spectrums we can use. We can use um, basically LEDs or light emitting diodes. We can use lasers and the different spectrums is everything from, from what I remember from skin. You can use a blue spectrum at around 405, 430, and then you've got your reds at around 630, 633. What is this device and why is that spectrum suited, as in the light device, suited for hair growth at that color. Okay, so we know that the we use red light mostly or infrared light uh, and we don't exactly know how it works, but we think it encourages blood flow again to the yeah. area. So yeah. these particular wavelengths encourage that blood flow. Okay, cool. And then now, so we'll, let's talk about the differences between low level laser emission device and light emitting diodes mm -hmm. compared to this lasers so the lasers for example i think that's been reported that you're non-ablative and sometimes you're ablative lasers and also when we're not even talking about lasers micro needling so how do you envisage this treatment sits in the spectrum of energy devices including um, just simple micro needling in the management of hair loss Okay, so we know that this is non-invasive and it's not particularly painful at all. It's quite it comfortable. To yeah, <laughs> absolutely, which is incredibly uncomfortable or can be. So we know that this particular device contains low-level laser and that actually works by using a very single uh, sorry a very specific wavelength which penetrates quite deep into the scalp and it's think of it like a, a spot treatment whereas the led lights uses a small band of uh, wavelengths and it covers a more broader area of the the scalp so by combining the two you're actually getting um, both spot treatment and more diffuse treatment as well i think with lasers as well when we do lasers it, it, it hurts yeah, yeah so it's we, very uncomfortable <laughs> so we normally need to use either a cooler or a gel or even local anesthetic um what about this device what about light emitting diodes what's the pain level with that well there's no pain at all it's perhaps slightly warm slightly warm and that's it yeah like you said it increases blood flow ish patient comes in right so you've got i'll just give you a scenario let's say a male patient in the early 30s complaining of early stage hair loss right and He's read about stuff like um, tablets, the finasteride, the testeride, yeah, and he's very scared about using those tablets because of potential side effects. What's your go-to for that patient in that age group? 
So I would start with a low dose of oral minoxidil, perhaps one milligram to start with. Uh, sometimes they go up to 2.5 milligrams uh, and we can work our way up. Uh, with topical minoxidil, I start at 5% topical minoxidil uh, and then again, it can be compounded in more, uh, in increasing concentrations. Yep. So something like 7% or even 8%. Now, when, so do you, what do you advise that patient then? Do you start them on low level laser light de devices or what, what would you do? So I always go through the whole treatment ladder with them and I let them know uh, all the possible treatment options. Uh, and then I talk about uh, additional devices such as iRestore, uh, which can help augment the results of the uh, oral treatments, all the topical treatments. Cool. So I'll give you another scenario. Let's say we, we have a female, for example, in the early 40s, um, had their kids, she's got um, some hair loss experience in hair loss, identified as um, female pattern baldness. What is your go-to in someone who's around 40 years of age non-childbearing, um, what would you, what would you ordinarily start patients on? Okay, so often I, of course, take a full history uh, and look at their hormones as well as uh, other bloods as well. Uh, and then I would, st I usually start these patients on some sort of anti-androgen treatment What's and uh, I use uh, spironolactone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, but there are other ones like flutamide and biclutamide that uh, are also being used as well. Uh, and then I usually combine that with oral minoxidil as well. And supplementary for the devices? Same as men, I go through the full treatment ladder uh, and often uh, discuss other things to augment their results, such as uh, this device. Guys, thank you very much for your attention. Esh is a expert. She's very humble. She's actually an expert on hair loss disorders. So you can check out more on her profile um, down below. Guys, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Remember, there's a special discount code for this iRestore for limited time only down below. Bye for now.